Hi, Bebo. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm good too. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us something about yourself? Okay, sir. So, myself, Bebo Chavan. I'm from Maharashtra, Aurangabad. Uh, I've completed my graduation from the BSc Computer Science. Uh, later, I worked as a financial and the medical transcriptionist. Then I started working, like, I started preparing for the manual testing. I quit that job. Then, yeah, I have theoretical and the basic knowledge of the manual testing as well as the SQL queries. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Okay. So basically, you are a fresher in, uh, and you are looking for a software testing job. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, are you aware about uh, insurance-based applications? Like, uh, you might be aware about uh, life insurance. So whenever we... Uh, kind of book and insurance for policy for us or for our family members. So are you aware about the flow of those kind of applications? So I haven't come across um, any application like that, sir. Sir, wait a minute and plug in my headphones. I'm not able to hear you. Okay, fine. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I, I am able to hear you. Yeah. Can you tell me the testing techniques with the help of which you will write test cases? Okay. So there are uh, four to five test, uh, testing techniques. Um, boundary value analysis, mm -hmm. equivalence class partitioning, uh, state transition, uh, decision table, um, error guessing. So shall I elaborate it, sir? Yes, yes. Can you tell me one or two lines of those techniques on those techniques? Okay, so let's talk about the equivalence class partition. Mm -hmm. uh, here, if we have the uh, condition where we have to paste the input data like 100 to 500 numbers, mm -hmm. so we cannot really put one, like we cannot really put every single number and paste it. So what we do is uh, we partition the data, we will create the groups, like mm -hmm. we'll create the five groups, like one, one group for the one to 100, 100 to 200, 200 to 300, like till 500. Mm -hmm. So once we create five groups, then we'll put one value from each group and we'll test it. So mm -hmm. once it's passed, then it means that group is passed. So yeah, instead of checking each number, we will, with the help of equivalence class partition, we will check the data. Mm -hmm. So cover, coverage will be more and the test, case, the test cases will be less. Right. What is the difference between static testing and dynamic testing? Static testing, um, it means verification, uh, where we verify the documents like BRS, SRS in mm -hmm. the form of reviews, walkthroughs, and the inspections, which are the basically informal meetings. Mm -hmm. And validation, uh, dynamic testing is a validation. Mm -hmm. Okay, Here, execution part comes where we perform various kinds of testings and uh, we execute the um, uh, test cases. Right. So uh, dynamic testing is nothing but you can say testing performed by executing or running the application in the test. It can be a manual testing or it can be an automation testing. While static testing okay. is a kind of testing for reviewing the documentation, as you mentioned it very tightly, right? So we are reviewing the specifications, business requirements, documentation processes, functional requirements in the initial phase of the testing. So that is static okay. testing. Okay. okay. Can you explain me the bug life cycle or which are the various different stages of bug? Yeah, so sure. Uh, when tester finds a bug, uh, mm -hmm. the status will be new and it will be handed over to the developer in order to fix it. So when that uh, the progress, uh, that uh, fixing uh, process is going on, the status will be in progress. And when, uh, after once the bug is fixed, the status will be fixed. Now tester uh, will retest it in order to make sure that those bugs aren't there anymore, mm -hmm. uh, previously found bugs. And uh, so if it gets failed, the mm -hmm. status will be reopened. And if it gets passed, the status will be closed. Apart from this status, uh, status, then there will be other like reproducible, producible, deferred, we can, we can call it postponed, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, duplicate. So reproducible and the producible means, um, the steps that we have written uh, to make sure developer can follow those steps and produce that bug again. So to make sure that it's valid or not. So yeah, if it gets failed, then it's reproducible that, that will be the status. Mm -hmm. And duplicate is like whether the 
previously uh, it has been raised previously then the status will be duplicate mm -hmm. and uh, last one is uh, deferred means if the bug has high se low severity and low priority it can be fixed in later uh, next bill so yeah status will be duplicate sorry uh, deferred that's okay. about seven. right so first of all, the status is new. Whenever the bug or defect that is detected or found out by the uh, QA person, so it is a new state. Then will be the assigned, then open, and then rejected or not a bug can also come into the picture. Let's say if a bug is in rejected state, in case if a developer feels that the bug is not a genuine, it's not meeting as per the requirements, right? Then deferred is also one of the stage where the fix is deferred for some time it is based uh, it is put on a next release maybe it's not uh, priority or critical for this particular release to be solved so that is deferred and then a fixed test and then reopened is there verified is there closed is there so these are few of the stages okay now what is defect priority and what is defect severity defect priority is it just tells us like how quickly we need to fix the bugs and uh, mm -hmm. severity is like the impact of that particular bug on the application mm -hmm. so yeah severity is given by the tester and mm -hmm. the priority is given by the developer right can you give me an example of a defect with low priority and low severity uh low priority low severity means the color have the color is not as developer expected mm -hmm. uh, like uh, according to the end user expectations so the logo color is changed so it's not affecting the application so severity is low and also it can be fixed in um later build so right is the priority is also low right but if it's a uh, color of a brand of the application let's say if it's an amazon.com or flipkart.com and if the color is not uh, as per the brand value is being expected then it would be a high priority defect right oh yeah yeah so low priority low severity you can take an example of any spelling mistake in a page that is not frequently visited by the end users okay yeah now can you give me an example of low priority and high severity low priority and high, high severity. severity okay so <laughs> there are some cor corners in application that mm -hmm. aren't uh, click uh, or the links mm -hmm. that aren't linked or the used by the customer on the daily basis so it's just like we can fix uh so it's according to the uh business point of view it's affecting the application mm -hmm. but uh, the prior priority is low we can fix it um later in next bill so this is the example of uh high severity and low priority right. right so it can be fixed in the next bill okay. yeah next bill. okay now uh you might could have heard about <coughs> sorry <coughs> state transition yes. testing that is a black box testing test design technique right state transition testing are you aware about it uh yes yeah, sir state transition techniques is also test design techniques one of right. test design techniques right right so, what uh, we do is uh -huh. okay yeah yeah please, please go uh, ahead there will be, yeah huh, huh, it's fine. so there will be some um stages like let's take an uh, let's take an example of a uh, login page mm -hmm. um there you will be given some uh, chances to log in that uh, page so mm -hmm. once you uh, failed another uh, sorry first chance then you will be given another chance and if you pass that then you will be redirected to the home page but again if you pass the second uh, fail the second chance then you will again get the third but once you fail the third you won't be given another chance like fourth chance so the account will be blocked so these stages uh, or the state uh, should be performed successfully mm -hmm. that's a state transition okay so it is more of a kind of a concept in which state system can be defined as a collection of multiple states and the transition from mm -hmm. one state to another happens because of some event so you can mention like that or you can also tell it's okay. a kind of a a uh, technique that is based on uh, state machine model right so that is state transition testing uh what is the difference between Can you yeah yeah you want Sorry. me to repeat uh, yeah sir last one i didn't get it Let right me. right so state transition testing uh, is a black box design technique right so 
so that can also be one of the interview question whether it's a black box de test design technique or it's a white box white box test design technique so it's a black box test design technique and it is based on a state machine model and the concept behind is uh, this particular technique is that it is a collection of multiple states and the transition can happen from one state to another it depends on some of the event event that is categorized in that okay Mm. Okay, so what is the difference between stub and driver? Uh, stub driver and the test driver. Okay, uh, stub driver are called by the component to be tested. Mm -hmm. uh, in integration incremental testing, there are the approaches stub driver, uh, uh, stub driver, and test drivers. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So, in stub driver, uh, it is called by the component in order to be tested, and mm -hmm. here, um recently idle model should be the um, child model of previously added model and test driver uh, test driver calls the component to be tested and mm. recently added model should be the uh, parent model of the previously added model mm -hmm. right these are the approaches uh, in integration incremental testing top down and the bottom up approach it comes right. like that. okay now what is system testing uh, system testing basically is it's a black box testing. Mm -hmm. uh, as a manual tester, we work we work on the manual system testing. There are uh, you know, types of system testing. We check the aura functionalities of application. The types of system testing are GUI testing, graphical mm -hmm. user interface, functional testing, non-functional testing, um, and the usability testing. So, okay. so shall I elaborate it more? Or yes, yes. If you can testing. mention one one line as a definition or. What is the significance of those testing? What actually you are testing in GUI testing and all those things? Okay. So uh, in GUI testing, uh, as name suggests, graphical user interface, we mm -hmm. check the uh, functionalities of application uh, from the uh, UI part and mm -hmm. functional testing, checking the overall, the major difference between functional and non-functional is just uh, functional works as per the requirement. Mm -hmm. And uh, non-functional works as the as per the expectations of end user, mm -hmm. and the usability makes sure that um, application is user friendly. Right. That's it. right. Now, what is acceptance testing? User acceptance testing is like um, after build is ready. Um, mm -hmm. Test. Uh, there will be the group of people or the end user. You can say. Mm -hmm. um, they will perform the testing, uh, they will test the application, like mm -hmm. normally we will test the application and then they will give feedback to the tester, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, QA team, that application is wo well working or not, user friendly or not, or mm -hmm. it's going, uh, it's ready to go in the market or not. So, so they're uh, listening to and working on their feedback and listening to that feedback is the user acceptance testing. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the difference between alpha testing and beta testing? Alpha testing is performed by the in-house developer, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, once the uh, alpha testing is done, it is handed over to the uh, QA, uh, QA team for the further testing in the same environment that is exact replica, replica of the client environment. And the beta testing uh, also is performed by the end user mm -hmm. to make sure the application is working as per the requirements. And basically, it's, it should be the well working. Right, right. Without any bugs and the yeah. So alpha yes, testing right. is performed as a kind of again acceptance type testing both alpha testing and beta testing. But alpha testing mm -hmm. is performed uh, by the testers or the internal employees of the organization itself at the developer side. While beta testing is a testing that is done by the end users at the end user side. Okay. So beta testing. Now, what is the difference between load testing and stress testing? Yeah, sorry, load yeah. and stress. Load and stress, yes. Okay. Uh, they are the parts of performance testing. Load testing means it's like increase. Let me give an example, sir, first. So there is an application uh, and the capacity that application holds only, like carries uh, only 100 to 200 users. So we will increase the loads of the users or the customer gradually not suddenly so that increasing that gradual load it's a low testing like 5 to 10 10 to 30 30 to 60 then 60 to 100 will go like this 
but when it comes to the stress testing there will be the sudden change uh, in um, increasing the load so like 5 to 30 to 80 90 to 100 like this so that's the stress testing okay now let's say if we have to test a particular application that is uh, flipkart.com okay it's an e-commerce based application so can you tell me the high level test scenarios how will you test that particular application uh high level test scenarios <coughs> mm-hmm. checking the uh, validated the payment um, transaction uh, method mm-hmm. like uh, the option where we uh, proceed the payment mm-hmm. validated that particular functionality uh, checking the login page validated the login page uh, validated the registration page mm-hmm. validated the uh, add card adding any particular product in the card that option uh, also validated the sign out sign out option mm. i guess there there will be some more scenarios but uh, mm-hmm. when it comes to high level scenarios then i'm not sure which to tell exactly okay no issue yeah. so you can tell all the test scenarios like you can first of all start with the positive testing like login into well, verify mm-hmm. the login of the application verify the registration in the application verify the forgot password functionality is working or not right then you can mm-hmm. <clears throat> go about the uh, navigate to the various pages into the application if those are working or not links are working or not then mm-hmm. verify verification of uh, whether you are able to add some particular product or multiple products into the cart and then verify you are able to do the payment for that particular product or not okay. then then when it comes to payment option again there are various test scenarios in that you can pay via credit card debit card via internet banking via upi methods are also available so all those kinds of uh, mm-hmm. in uh, this test scenarios you can incorporate as a positive testing negative testing is you will be trying to do the payment via the expired debit card or expired credit card or with a card with an insufficient balance <coughs> right so those you can add then um, performance testing also you can add like um, you are able to log in with the help of uh, using multiple users right 500 users 1000 users then is that verification done or is that testing successfully are you able to do that yeah so those all things you can add okay so these are few of the scenarios for e-commerce based application now let me share my screen and uh, okay now are you able to see this uh, amazon.com page uh yes sir okay yeah. let me oh, pause this share yeah now now are you able to see Yes, sir. Oh, just no, sir. Now I'm not able to see. Or this. Okay. Okay. So let me share again. Right. So this is the application. Okay. Now this is one of the page yes. of this particular website, Amazon.com. Okay. Now can you tell me the test scenarios? <coughs> How will you? Okay. So. Test only for this okay yeah this particular web page yeah so can it be zoom sir a little bit because i have not able to see that clearly yeah yeah it's a mobile that's why yeah yeah okay so you want me to zoom it so uh, okay zoom zoom it's fine sir if it's not possible then we try now is it fine Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me the high level so scenarios? If... Okay. Hmm. Um. So you zoom a lot. I guess there is no any full page. It's just showing me the today's deal in customer service, something like that. Let me. Let me. Ah. No. No, sir. A little bit more. Hmm. Okay. 
it's fine sir you can just uh, put it as it is as yeah. we okay i managed no. mm no sir again it's mm -hmm. not like before it's just showing me the register uh, what is that select the registry or give mm -hmm. list type that right. kind of part right so now now is it uh, viewable uh, now it's showing me the footer only mm -hmm. okay now little bit more sir ha uh, ha uh, mm -hmm. now it's possible sir to see that mm -hmm. uh, okay so high level scenarios right sir mm -hmm. mm. so uh, validate the um, search box mm -hmm. uh, then validate the location option that mm -hmm. is a, uh, like there is a location option india or deliver to mm -hmm. so let a uh, validate the drop down boxes mm -hmm. uh, there is a drop down boxes like today's deal and the customer services so we will validate uh, each option from that mm -hmm. and then Mm. there is no any registration option so otherwise i would have said that mm -hmm. uh, validate the registration option um so uh validate the uh, order option mm -hmm. so so this is all i can say and see right right no issues um so so and in below also there are uh, these links available yes sir yeah, yeah uh, in footer so we will um, validate the um, what is it reload your balance uh, mm -hmm. shop with points so there are some um, feature of points too so we will highlight that option to uh, mm -hmm. amazon business card um, so we can um, create uh, check all uh, like uh, all the functions and create mm -hmm. all the scenarios for each option too mm -hmm. but uh, when it comes to high level then we will also check the validate the we will also validate the about amazon mm -hmm. uh, uh, your account your order shipping rates and policies uh, return and replacements and also uh manage your contents and uh, content and devices mm -hmm. so basically that last part is important enough that let us help you know help mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. okay uh, and uh, it's really small so mm -hmm. if right. there are so, any helpline numbers then we will yeah it. yeah so there are uh, this uh, all the links that are available that you can validate as a part of your testing then this logo is available this you can validate right then various so when it comes to high <coughs> sorry for the interruption i just had a question when it comes to high level scenarios mm -hmm. then um, the, this will be the part of that scenario uh, those scenarios mm -hmm. like um, these are all the links mm -hmm. they are showing careers and blogs and about amazon mm -hmm. will it be the part of that high level scenario yeah yeah in high level scenarios basically you have to cover more and more test scenarios so high level means you just have to tell the test scenarios no need to tell in detail like what would be the test data what would be the actual result what would be the expected result just tell the high level test scenarios like let's say you are verifying this particular link you are verifying this particular logo is displayed or not you are verifying this particular language is are there or not right so those things you would be verifying right then in the top uh, itself over here it is there you can choose language again from here right so you can do this kind of verification also right then this drop down option is there which sort of uh, registry gift that you are looking for so birthday gift list custom gift list holiday gift list right so these are the various options of holiday season gift any occasion that you are looking for customized gift or it's it's an kids birthday gift or you are looking for a gift for a new baby kind of thing then these are the different kinds of gifts then in this particular text box you can you can uh, mention uh, you can enter various set of characters like alpha numeric characters numeric characters special characters so those kind of permutations and combinations you can enter over here right 
So this was about this particular thing. Okay. Uh, so, so this is good. Okay. Now, can you tell me, uh, let's say if there is a Gmail option. In Gmail, we have got an attachment option, right? Can you tell me high level test scenarios for that attachment in a Gmail? Uh, sir, who attached that? Like sender or uh, you got an email? Yeah, yeah. So let's say if you have to compose an email and you have to attach that particular mm -hmm. uh, file and send it in an email to me. Okay. So you are sender, I am receiver. So how will you test the attachment option for a Gmail? Uh, how to write this test scenario for that attachment? Yeah, yeah, for attachment option in Gmail. So we will basically, uh, as a scenario, we'll write validate the attachment option. Mm. Exactly. So I didn't really get a question like uh, if if we are supposed to write the test scenario, then mm. we can just write validated the attachment option mm -hmm. in right. Gmail. Right. Then you yeah. can also, I, I'll give you a hint, you can write the test scenario based on the uh, test data, the which, are, which mm -hmm. are the different test data that you will be testing in the attachment option of email, Gmail. Uh, like we can attach many things like uh, drive or uh, music and the pictures mm -hmm. and the videos. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we could we write test scenarios for those, like every particular thing. Mm -hmm. like whether the it is accepting the picture, it is accepting a video mm -hmm. or the PDF file, mm -hmm. then yeah, we can write the scenarios for you. Right. So very you will be doing verification based on the various file types, PNG, uh, then PDF you were mentioning, then text, Word file. Then again in Word file, there are sub options like DOC, DOC, X file. You can also attach the Excel file, XLSX, XLS then all these kinds of file, right? Then you can test with a file with a zero KB or with a file with 10 KB, 100 KB, one MB. <clears throat> then you try to attach a file with more uh, GB size. Then there should be a validation message coming up in the Gmail that this much size is not possible. You will have to insert it as a link in the drive itself and then you'll have to upload, right? So this is how you can test, okay? So, uh, Weber, I'm done with the interview. Do you have any questions for me? No, sir. Yeah. Okay. I'll just keep preparing for that and that's it, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Weber. It was so nice talking to you. Yeah. And all the best for your career. Thank you, sir. Yeah.